And for today's episode, I feel like it is high time that somebody says the quiet part out loud. So today I'm going to do that. Ready? The majority of Americans cannot stand Pride Week, Pride Month, Pride Year, whatever it is. The month of June has been completely perverted, and the majority of Americans, including my gay friends, cannot stand this month. So I'm going to give you five reasons why that's true. You guys ready? Reason number one, it's because Pride Month is emblematic of corporate cowardice. Everywhere you look, all of these corporations that don't even make sense are putting up rainbow flags, right? McDonald's, what was the issue with gay people at McDonald's? Were gay people not being served at McDonald's? I walk into a furniture shop a couple of weekends ago and prominently displayed is this LGBTQIA flag. Everybody's welcome to shop here. At what point in American history were gay people not allowed to shop in furniture stores? It's so emblematic of those stupid departments that are being built up, diversity and inclusion departments, somebody who is completely not qualified to even work at the corporations that they work at, keeping a calendar of every ridiculous holiday that we continue to make up to make sure that corporations get on their knees about various social issues. We have to, uh, we, we as a company are dedicating $200,000 to LGBTQ causes. Okay, where is that money even going? That's my question. Where is the money even going? What is it that we are striving toward for gay people and lesbian people? What don't they have in America that they need us to donate dollars, corporate dollars, to make sure that they secure in the future? Number two is that actually it's insulting to black people. I've been pretty outspoken. I even think Black History Month needs to go away. But let me tell you something. If black people are getting one month for the stuff that we live through in America, somebody's going to need to explain to me how it is that gay people and lesbian and trans people also got a month. Like what, what, somebody give me the history lesson, right? That qualifies an entire month in celebratory rainbows. Was, Was there an island where there was gay people that were living happily? And all of a sudden, they got put onto boats and chains and brought over to America and forced to work. I just, I missed that history lesson that justifies them being able to throw their asses in my face for an entire month. It's annoying and it's ridiculous. Thomas Sowell, as you guys know, is one of my favorite authors. And he once wrote a quote. And that quote is, civil rights used to be about treating everyone the same. But today, some people are so used to special treatment that equal treatment is considered to be discrimination. That is my opinion when it comes to the LGBTQIRS agenda. They they think they're being discriminated against because they're not getting special privileges, right? Which brings me to point number three, the slippery slope of it all. First, it began as just a day, a day of national pride and rainbows and sprinkles and Skittles. And they said, oh, actually, we're going to need a whole week to demonstrate to you guys that we are proud to be gay and lesbian and queer and then they weren't satisfied. I said, actually, we're going to need an entire month to do this because uh, we just need to be, we need more time to express this to you. And they're never going to be satisfied, right? But first it was like, it, love is love. Gay marriage. It's just about gay marriage. Love is love. And they got gay marriage. And they said, actually, going to tack on a T here. Uh, we've got some transgendered issues and we need to be able to speak to your children about the fact that I'm a trans femme turtle. And if you're not comfortable with that, then it's because you're a bigot. That's the figurative gun to everybody said, right? America's got a figurative gun to their head when these movements come around. It's you either put up an LGBTQIA flag or you hate homosexuals, right? You either put up a BLM flag or you hate black people. That's it. It basically puts all of America in the closet because we have to pretend that we don't mind what's going on for an entire month. And what's going on for an entire month? Oh, that would be number four on my list. It's perversity that is being dressed up as diversity. We know what this is. Stop pretending that this is about pride when you need to wear assless chaps and shake your butt in front of a child's face. And then you say, oh, if you have any issues with this, then it's because you're a bigot and you're raising your child to be a bigot. Your baby needs to be anti-racist, like your baby needs to be anti and pro and supportive of all of these various causes. They need to be pro-trans. They need to be actively pro-trans agenda. It's debauchery. Everywhere you look, look at the pride parade. Why is it so okay to take your children to a Thanksgiving Day parade? You have no fears. 
But you know fully well that if you take your child to a pride parade, your child is going to be exposed to a bunch of sexuality on display because that's just what they're allowed to do for an entire month. They're allowed to be overtly sexual and pretend that they're a special snowflake and that if you don't like it, it's because you're somehow uh, a heterosexual freak who doesn't understand that people need to express themselves. Let me be clear. If a heterosexual couple acted in the same way as some of these couples act during a pride parade, I would be disgusted because it's just gross. It's just debauchery. Your sexuality doesn't mean anything to me. I don't care what your sexuality is. When you're being perverse, you should be called out for it. It's the same reason I called out Cardi B for her performance on stage when I felt she was being disgusting at the Grammys. I don't care that Cardi B is a heterosexual person. I care that there are children in America who shouldn't be forced to watch this sort of stuff. They shouldn't be forced to watch our cultural corrosion on screens. That's how the majority of adults feel when Pride Month comes wrong, but they're not allowed to say it or else they will be accused of being bad individuals who want homosexuals to be wiped off the face of the planet. Speaking of individuals who actually want homosexuals to be wiped off the face of the planet, let's talk about number five. It's also the cultural ignorance of it all, right? You get these people that come up to you and they're waving their flags. They're the same people that are waving their pride flags in one hand and the Ukraine flags in the other one, right? And then when you say, hey, wait, uh, gay marriage is not allowed in Ukraine. Oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. There are actually places all across the world where homosexual people are oppressed and they never do anything for it. That's not what they're raising money for. They're raising money so they can indoctrinate our children with LGBTQ agenda ideas, right? They don't care. They'll tell you to donate tomorrow to Saudi Arabia if the right politician gets on stage and tells them to. They're ignorant about their very existence. And that drives me absolutely insane. It also bothers me on a spiritual level that it is a corruption of what the rainbow signifies theologically. Remember, this was God's promise that he would never again flood the earth. And sometimes I ask a question, when I look around and I see all this ridiculousness going on, when I look at the perversion that our culture has become, and I look at everything that we're even talking about in this country, you wonder if he should make good on that promise or not. You wonder if we need a reset button of some sort on humanity altogether. So in closing, it's it's a great irony that we spend this time calling it Pride Month, when in reality, it's anything but. We should not be proud of this. We should not be proud of the state of culture. It's actually everything that Americans should be ashamed of. Maybe we need a shame month. Thanks for joining me on this segment of Candace. If you liked this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. To watch or listen to the full show, become a member at dailywire.com slash subscribe.